Hey guys, it's me, Silvio, back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. Good job, Prince. You did a great job with the intro. Today's video is finally gonna be the Fenty Beauty review. You guys have been awaiting this. I'm sure you've seen billions, okay, not billions, but a lot of reviews of the Fenty Beauty line already on YouTube, and I'm telling you, I have a long story behind it. Basically, I bought all the stuff off the Fenty Beauty website as soon as it dropped, but I didn't realize that you could pick it up at Sephora's or order from Sephora the entire collection. I thought it would take time to roll out into Sephora's, you know? Clearly, I didn't do my research on that. I ended up being able to cancel my entire order of Fenty Beauty. The customer service was amazing. Then I went to Sephora to try and buy it, but half of it was sold out, so I ended up having to order it off Sephora, but that only took a few days versus the 14 days it would have taken off Fenty Beauty. It was a long process, but finally, all of the products that I wanted to test out are here. I hope you still want to hear my opinions on it. And just to make it a little bit interesting, I am going to be doing like half my face using the KKW Beauty contour and highlight products just because I want to see how they compare. I feel like these are the two biggest launches of the year if you're gonna splurge your money on only one of these brands, which one is worth spending that money on? So we're gonna find that out today. All the Fenty Beauty stuff is a first impression. I've never tried it before. Before we get into the video, make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you're not yet subscribed. I do drop two videos a week, so you don't wanna miss out on those. Yeah, without further ado, let's get to testing these products. So I've got a full bag of Fenty Beauty products to review. She came out with quite a few products for her first launch. I mean, not everything, like brow products and stuff, you know, but she did come out with a lot, where Kim, on the other hand, only came out with like one product at a time. Time. But we do have the products that she has already come out with. We have her powder, contour, and highlight palette, and then the contour and highlight sticks, and also the brushes. And we'll compare the products that KKW does have to the similar products in Fenty Beauty. I will say the aesthetic for both KKW Beauty and Rihanna are kind of very similar. Like they both went with like neutral, kind of beige pink tones for their packaging, which is why they kind of remind me of each other. So let's start out by testing her primer. It's the Soft Matte Pro Filter Primer. Hmm, doesn't really smell like anything. Feels like a lotion. You know how some primers have that like silicone-y feel? This doesn't have any of that thickness or that silicone feel. It just feels like a moisturizer or like a lotion. So now let's move on to Fenty Beauty foundations. I got two shades because I wasn't sure which one I would be. I got 260 and 220. Very similar packaging to the primer. It's just not pink. It's got a white cap and it's called the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. And I got both like foundation blending tools that Fenty Beauty offers. This is the Precision Makeup Sponge and this is their full bodied foundation brush. So because KKW Beauty doesn't make a foundation, we're just gonna go ahead and put the foundation on my full face, but I'll apply one side with the sponge and the other side with the brush just to see the difference in application and which one I like better. And a quick comparison with the Fenty Beauty sponge and the Beauty Blender. This is the Beauty Blender, this is Fenty Beauty. You can see they are literally the exact same size. Please don't judge me for my dirty Beauty Blender, you guys. I mean, it's time for a wash, I know. So this is 260 and this is 220. Oh, and then this is them mixed. I feel like I'm gonna mix them together. I do think I can find a better match though because she has such a wide range of shades in the foundation, but I didn't go into the Sephora. I bought it online, so I just kind of had to guess. It's not a thick foundation at all. When I pumped it out, it kind of was runny. It smells really good. I actually really like the smell. It's very sweet. Kind of smells like perfume. Now I'm gonna blend out this side of my face using her beauty sponge, and we'll do the other side with the foundation brush. Hmm. A nice light layer right now. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more on my problem area. So I'm just using like the bottom of the beauty sponge and I really like it. It does feel like a beauty blender. It's really soft and bouncy and it's blending it out really nicely. Now let's blend the other side out using the brush. Ooh, it's very soft. Basically I have my whole cheek done in like two seconds. So you definitely get a more full coverage using the brush. All right, so this side has been fully done with the brush. I honestly think I prefer the brush. It did it a lot faster and it gave me a more full coverage, which I prefer. The foundation itself is more buildable. It's like started out with like a medium coverage, but you can see it didn't cover up my blemishes. When I put a little bit on, it does build it. It does look a little bit splotchy to me. So I'm gonna go over it one last time with their beauty sponge to kind of melt everything into my skin. You can see that the foundation oxidizes, like it goes on really light and then it gets a little bit darker. So maybe if you're swatching at Sephora, wait a few minutes to see how it dries down. So my first impression on the foundation is fairly good. I do like how it has a nice natural skin finish. It does take a little bit more building on problem areas, like my cheeks here, doesn't completely cover those blemishes up. Let's carry on and then we can see how it looks at the end of the video. Just read on the back of it says to shake well before use and I definitely didn't do that. So I don't know if that affected my application. 
but um, my bad. So let's move on to concealer, contour, and highlight. We're gonna use the cream sticks. So they have the match sticks from Fenty Beauty, and they have them in different sets, like light, medium, dark, you know, or you can customize them to your own shades. You can choose whatever concealer, highlight, or contour shade that you want. And the packaging is actually magnetic which is really, really cool because if you're bringing them all in your makeup bag, they just stick together. You don't have to go wrestling through to find the different shades. And then for KKW, we're gonna use their cream sticks. These ones only come in sets, so light, medium, dark, deep dark, which is fine, but the problem with that is if you prefer maybe a shade in another set, but the rest of the colors in that one set is good for you, but you just want that one from the other set that you know would be a little bit better for you, then you have to purchase both the sets. You can't mix and match. You just have to purchase both of the sets in order to get the other shade. I don't know if anything I just said made sense, but you guys know what I mean. You know what I mean. We're gonna start out with linen for my under eye brightener or concealing shade. I'm gonna make this side the Fenty Beauty side. Now, I don't know if you'd wanna use this on its own or just as a brightening cream over top of the concealer, but we're just gonna try to use it on its own to see what it does for us. And then to blend that out, I did get her portable contouring concealing brush. So it's like meant for traveling. The silver part goes up and down, cool. So you can keep the bristles together and let's just use that to see how it blends out the concealer. Ooh. No edges. Blending out super, super easy. I actually enjoy this brush. It's really cute and like the perfect size for under there. I really like it. The bristles feel just as soft as like the foundation brush. I'm living for these brushes so far. And it feels like a little bit of a thicker formula than I was expecting, which I like. Like you can see, it did get rid of most of my discoloration on my under eye. Let's blend out the forehead a little bit, a little on the chin. Now let's do the KKW side. Now right off the bat, this one feels a lot more not like greasy feeling, but like it just melts on. The Fenty Beauty matchsticks feel a little bit thicker, but I feel like that's why it gives a little bit more coverage. From what I remember, the KKW is a little bit more of a thinner formula. Now I've already reviewed KKW, so you guys know that I'm not really a fan of this little like half sponge tip here. It's a little bit of a hard sponge, so it kind of doesn't blend as well as I want it to. So it's definitely taking a little bit longer than the Fenty Beauty brush. I think the difference is pretty obvious. You can tell the KKW is a lot thinner. It didn't completely cover up the discoloration in there and I think it's because it's like a really really creamy formula. Fenty Beauty is a lot thicker, it has a little bit more coverage to it, but both of them still have that like really natural kind of shine to it. It's a natural skin finish which I like, but if you prefer more full coverage under eye then you're gonna like the Fenty Beauty one. If you want something more like barely there then you'll probably prefer the KKW Beauty one. Also another major difference is gonna be in how much product comes in each of them. The KKW Beauty only comes with 1.8 grams with both ends. Fenty Beauty comes in 7.10 grams of product. So clearly that's a huge difference. Now moving on to the contour. From Fenty Beauty, we have the shade Mocha for contouring in the match stick. Let's apply that. And just a bit on a nose, just to see how the contour looks on the nose. Let's go back in with that contour and concealer brush and blend that out. I really like this. It does a really good job of blending it out really quickly. It did kind of lift the foundation a little bit, but I think I was being a little bit rough with it. So I'm gonna put a little more contour there and try and just dab it on instead of swiping so much. Let's do the forehead. Like, look how quickly that blends it out. Let's do the nose. This brush might be a little bit big for the nose, but I'm just gonna kind of try and make it work. Moving on to the KKW Cream Contour. We've got the two sides, the darker and then the more bronzing side. We'll apply both. And then I'll use the KKW brush to blend that out. Her contour sticks definitely work in your favor for contouring because it makes it easier to blend it on top of the foundation without really having to put your elbow into it, you know, so you're not disturbing the foundation underneath. It's just like gliding on top and blending really flawlessly. I don't think you would need like some sort of serum to blend out the cream because it does it really easily on its own. You see how quickly and easily that blended out and it kind of looks a little bit smoother than the Fenty Beauty one. Definitely a little bit easier for beginners so it doesn't get as patchy, you know, but let's blend out the rest of it. I like both of the brushes. I feel like this end is kind of useless on this one because I don't like it, but but the brush side is really nice and it does a really good job of blending. So contour and bronzing is done on both sides. This is the KKW Beauty, this is the Fenty Beauty. Biggest difference I noticed, KKW is very, very lightweight. Works for its favor in contouring because it's easier to blend out without disturbing the foundation, but not really for the concealer because it means it doesn't really cover a lot. But for the Fenty Beauty, it's like a thick, rich formula. It's got a little bit more of like an ashy tone to it, so it works well as a contour to really look like a shadow and like chisel out your face, you know? 
but that thicker formula you do have to be a little bit more careful when you're blending it into your foundation otherwise you'll get like a splotchiness and stuff but if you want to really make it foolproof and like blend it out super quick and easy just add a couple drops of like some sort of foundation serum like the Farzali elixir or something like that and it'll make it blend out like a dream really easily now let's move on to highlighting so I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty starstruck cream match stick I'm just gonna go like this and apply it with my finger and blend it in just so it warms the product up a bit because when I went in just like that it kind of took the foundation off a bit that's really pretty it's still very natural looking and it blends into the foundation nicely but it's still kind of blinding so I like that and for the KKW Beauty side we're using the cream highlight from the medium kit again with this one because it's so creamy the product kind of just glides right on top of the foundation and it won't remove the foundation when you're applying it so that's just another difference in application you have to be aware of when using the two different products but again I am gonna blend this one out with my finger so both are applied the KKW one is definitely a little bit more subtle it was very creamy just like glided right on and then the Fenty Beauty one is a little bit more intense close up they both look really pretty I'll be honest but let's move on to powder highlight so Fenty Beauty has the kilowatt highlighters there's six different shades four of them are like duo highlights they split with two different colors and the other two are just like singles there's trophy wife and there's metal moon so here she is she is so pretty it's like a yellow gold let's do the first swatch oh my god I don't even want to touch it it's too uh-uh. There's no shortage of pigmentation, you guys. That is blinding. It's definitely a mixture of like glitter with really, really finely milled like metallic powders. Now this is Metal Moon. It's obviously more of like a white, really, really light highlight. I already kind of swatched Metal Moon. They're both so pretty. They swatch so easily. The powder is so buttery and really, really smooth. This is one of the duo compacts. So this one has Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. One of them is more of just like your regular metallic highlight. You see that and then the other one is like trophy wipe and metal moon where it has glitter specks in it so these are the two side by side so I'm gonna go in with fire crystal and lightning dust and kind of just tap my brush in both of them and just apply that right on the cheekbone oh my goodness so that applied over top of the cream highlight is like Oh my god. Get your sunglasses on. My pimple is blinding you. That's insane, you guys. That's definitely one of the most blinding highlighters I've ever tried in my life. Let's move on to the KKW side. Two shades of highlight. A golden toned one. Let's swatch that right next to Trophy Wife. And then this is the more pink one. Let's swatch that right next to the other one. The main difference is both the Fenty Beauty ones have a lot more glitter in them. Now let's use her brush to apply that. Oh my god, you guys. That's actually super blinding too. I'm shining, shining brighter than a star. This is insane. This one is really, really intense too. Definitely more intense than I thought. I thought the Fenty Beauty one would blow it out of the water, but it's really intense too. So KKW Beauty, Fenty. KKW Beauty definitely surprised me. I was expecting a more subtle, natural kind of highlight because Kim was all about like, you know, everyone should be able to do it. So I thought it was gonna be like just the, your average highlight, but it's not. It's really, really blinding. And then the Fenty Beauty is just like on another level on another level. Fenty Beauty hasn't come out with like a powder contour, a powder bronzer yet. So I'm just gonna apply these to the KKW side just cause I've never tried them before. So I do wanna give you guys my opinion on them and the product in general. So let's just go ahead with the KKW brush I'm using the angled side and just lightly apply. That's a little bit of the bronzing contour on there and I really like it. So now let's use some of the products on our eyes. I mean, you don't always have to limit yourself to using a highlighter on your cheeks. You can use it for your inner corner. You can use it for your eyes. So let's do that. I'm gonna use Metal Moon for my inner corner highlight for the Fenty side. Fenty Beauty is just making all my makeup dreams come true right now. So now for the KKW side, I will mix the two highlights together for the inner corner. Ooh, that one's blinding too. It's definitely more of a champagne highlight and this one's more of like a white, but they both do a good job. So Fenty doesn't really have any matte, so I'm gonna just use the bronzing and the contouring powders from KKW for my transition shade on both my eyes. And we'll just do a simple eye look just to test out the product. On the Fenty side, let's go in with Trophy Wife all over the lid. Oh my God, it's everything I ever dreamed of. That is so pretty as an eyeshadow too because of how glittery it is. Now the KKW Beauty side, we're gonna use the gold highlight shade. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful highlight, but definitely as a shadow, this one looks way more bomb. 
Now, neither brand has come out with mascara, so I'm gonna go in with Lancome's Monsieur Big. It's the first time I'm trying it out, so I'll just do it on camera for you guys. It's got a nice big wand, I like that. Oh yeah, Monsieur Big is right. These lashes are getting big. Now, last up, let's move on to lips. We're gonna use the Fenty Beauty Glass Bomb. This is the only lip product that she's come out with right now. The matte KKW liquid lipstick isn't really gonna compare, you know, they're not even the same type of lipstick. So I'm just gonna use this one all over my lips to test it out. Ooh, that's a really big doe foot. I didn't expect it to be that big. It's supposed to be a universal shade that works for all skin tones. Let's see how it applies. <gasps> Whoa, that is so high shine. It almost looks metallic because of how shiny it is. It's reflecting the huge light behind me. That's why it looks like white in the center there. Mm. It smells like candy. This is the shiniest lip gloss I think I've ever tried. It literally looks like glass on my lips. And it's not that thick and goopy. Like when I talk, you don't see it stretching out between my lips, you know? I hate when that happens. So, so far, so good. All right, you guys, so that's basically all the products I have to test out. I tried to do my full face. This is the KKW Beauty side, of course, with the exception of the foundation and the primer and lip gloss. And then this is the Fenty side. Fenty Beauty in general really, really pleasantly surprised me. There's a lot of hype and a lot of buzz surrounding both of these brands, so it's nice to compare them side by side. Of course, KKW doesn't really have as many products as Fenty Beauty right now, so I did what I could comparing the two. And then obviously you have the prices to consider for each of them, I would honestly say they're both kind of up there in the price tag. Obviously Fenty Beauty has more products, so there are some products that you can get for a cheaper price tag, but I'd still consider it priced like a high-end brand. The KKW Contour Stick Sets come with a brush and that retails for $48, and the Match Sticks come with three for $52. So there's only a few dollar difference, but the KKW ones you get a brush, but you do get less product. The Fenty ones you get a lot more product, but no brush to go along with the set. There are all those different things to consider when choosing between the two brands, but I hope doing this side-by-side -side comparison and helped you guys out if you were wondering about the two. But that's all for now. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure you watch my last upload if you haven't seen it yet. Just click the box down below to watch it and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. All you have to do is click the bubble of my face in the corner of the screen and you will be subscribed. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. Bye.